hospitals are going to always be the core uh, and central component of any health delivery system. And uh, by the end of this year, we, we will have more than 90 hospitals that are part of our organization. So clearly, hospitals are still essential in terms of what we do. But I do think that when you look at where we're going in terms of moving from volume to value and looking at the consumer aspect of what healthcare that we need to be accessible to people, easy access in care sites that are more uh, customer friendly, I mean, those things don't describe hospitals. And when you add on top of that the technology advances and the different models of care and the fact that we have to keep people healthy, all of that means that the hospital will have a smaller role in that. We, we developed a plan back in 2009, and we have destination metrics out to 2020. So we do our traditional strategic plan, just like anybody else, two, three, four years. But then we develop, where do we really want to be out in 2020, and let's see how we work ourselves back into that. So one of those destination metrics is that the uh, percentage of our revenue uh, would be at least 65% would come from other than acute care hospitals. And when we developed the plan, quite honestly, uh, the uh, percentage of other than acute care uh, was higher than I even thought it would have been at the time. It was about 48%. Today we're at 53 So we're continuing to move up that, uh, up that ladder. And that includes uh, ambulatory sites of care, um, ambulatory, whether it's imaging, ambulatory surgery. It includes physician practices. We now employ uh, over 3,300 healthcare providers, physicians and advanced nurse practitioners and others. Uh, so those are some of the primary aspects. We've also uh, filled out pre and post acute uh, care. We acquired uh, Consolidated Health Services, a home care company. We have investments in uh, PAMA, which is a reference laboratory. Uh, we have other investments that we made in the business side of things, uh, outsourcing to Conover Health Solutions or to Med Synergies and acquiring an equity stake in those companies. So we think that, it's, as you well know, it's going to be very hard to continue to operate robust mar operating margins in the acute care side of what we do. And so with our traditional mission, being a Catholic healthcare ministry, we know that we have to uh, supplement the, the revenue sources and diversify the portfolio, not just from the continuum of care, but also to diversify the portfolio in terms of what can bring in revenue for us to help the historical mission. So our mission and our mission statement and the founding sisters that put CHI together, and in it they talked about improving the healthy communities, transforming health care. We really feel that the Affordable Care Act has provided us a platform to help to get us there really faster than we would have. And I think that one of the, the things we've done with the diversification uh, uh, strategies also move us into acquiring health plans uh, to round out our, our ability to play in whatever space we need in a given market. Uh, we'd like to continue to work with uh, insurance companies that we already work with, uh, but it does give us just a, a, something else in our portfolio to help us uh, to make that shift. As we move towards improving the health of the communities and population health management, it means that the traditional volume of care that we would have gotten paid for will be di diminished and we have to be able to make sure that the payment structures follow suit and that we're actually rewarded for doing what we should have been doing all along. Every one of our markets will either develop and lead a clinically integrated network or become a part of a clinically integrated network. So in our smaller rural communities, they become part of a larger network that we may not control, that we may not lead, but they still are an important part in delivering care, keeping care local when we have the capabilities to provide that care. And that's where, again, being part of CHI to a small rural community hospital is a great benefit because we provide virtual care services that where we can transport so that a small hospital uh, that, that may have a pharmacist come through two days a week, they can get 24-7 pharmacy uh, consults through virtual care capabilities, neuroradiology consults and other things like that through CHI. We uh, set up initially five pilots across CHI to test out different uh, types of configurations in terms of what might go into a CIN. 
Today we have 11 uh, uh, clinically integrated networks up and running in different parts of the country. And uh, we have a very robust one in, in, uh, at our Mercy Hospital in Roseburg, Oregon. So it just shows it doesn't have to be a major metropolitan uh, city to have that done. They have a very good relationship with the Douglas County uh, uh, physicians and, and that, uh, that CIN works extremely well. The key, as I said earlier, is as long as we can also have a payment structure that rewards us for this good work, or at least is shared with the, with the payers, then it will all work. If all we're doing is doing the, the, the good work of keeping people healthy, and then we don't share in that, uh, then we won't be around to do that much longer. And we have a pilot um, that we rolled out in Iowa and uh, Nebraska, Lincoln and Des Moines, uh, where including covered dependents, we have about 30,000 CHI associates that we put in a fully uh, rolled out CIN, uh, medical home, physician coverage and, and, and the like. And basically we've already demonstrated through that after about an average of about eight, eight and a half percent increase, we dropped to two percent and then this year we actually have reduced the cost. So that's important not only because we're a large employer ourselves, but it's also important because one of the other component parts that's very important going forward is we, we expect that you will continue to see more direct contracting with employers and the first thing they're going to say is, well, where have you done this? And we'd like to be able to demonstrate that we've also done it with our own employees.